Welcome back to Coffee Talk. We are here with a very interesting lady, and she's from Henry County. What's your name? Holly Kinderman. Now, Holly, what is the event that you do in Henry County? Right now, um, I'm the executive director of the chamber, and I'm also the director of the Kentucky Renaissance Fair. And right now, we are hosting our Highland Renaissance Festival in Eminence. We are on our 13th year, so we will go through um, July the 15th, Saturdays and Sundays. We have entertainment, merchants, artists, crafts. Um, we have a cast. We have uh, so much to do. Now you're talking about you have a cast. What does this cast do? We have a cast of probably about 70 people and they're divided between nobles. Um, we have a fairy guild, a gypsy guild. We have a minions cast which is our youth cast. They are freshmen to seniors in high school and they all get together and they portray the village basically. You know we're set back in the 1300s. It's like a little Scottish village. So they portray who would have lived there, who, and some of it is a little, you know, fairies and, you know, it's a little mythical, but it's fun. And that is something the kids love. They do a fairy naming every day and they give you a fairy certificate and wings. And then um, we are, King is King Robert. You kind of think Braveheart, um, that, that era, William Wallace. Um, and he will do a nighting for the, the younger children at 4 o'clock every day. He does a children's nighting. And they make some knights of the, of the, four, of the um, Briarwood, which is the name of our village, basically. Right. So now, does he make boys and girls nights? Oh, yeah. Adults, kids, oh, everybody. So <laughs> even, the, even the fairy <laughs> naming, some that. of the adults, they want to be named too. So, and why... <laughs> Of nobody. You don't do anybody. So there's nobody. Oh, that's so not, cool. You know, I able love to that. that. Yeah. Now, how long have you been doing the Renaissance Fair? This is year 13 for us. So we've been going every summer for 13 years. Yes. And we are set back in, you know, just in Henry County. It's such a really pretty rural area. And that's kind of why we chose it. it was because it is rural and it has the beautiful, um, the, the trees. And yes, you don't see, Yes, you don't see anything from the road. So when you pull in, you're kind of just like, what's back there? And then you go through the trees, even to our ticket booth. You walk through, tr you know, a tree pathway. You get to the ticket booth. And when you come in, there's towers like you're going into a castle. And it is, there are booths that are actual buildings that look like the old, you know, Scottish village. And so you've got um, merchants and basically artisans that are making leather goods. They're making jewelry, clothing. Um, we have blacksmithing, glass blowing, uh, pottery, candles, a little bit of everything. That was interesting. Earlier you were telling me about the glass blower. Yes. He does something that most vendors don't do. What is that? He demonstrates and he lets you blow your own That's glass. <laughs> How neat is that? You can't yeah. go too many places and actually make something out of glass and you've made it yourself. You, he heats right. it, he teaches you how to you know, and usually I think it's a sphere type thing that you'll make. And you can use it as a Christmas ornament, you know, anything. But it's, where else can you go and do that? Right. That's something that kids don't know how to do to begin with. No. But then to have hands-on and even adults. Right. A hands-on experience with that makes it stick with you. Yeah, I think so too. And we do a Mad Hatter tea party once a day. And um, you can come in and you get tea and it's, um, I think it's some... Um, like cookies and cakes, some really neat little eclectic type things, and you've got a show. You've got someone that's performing for you doing it, like a Mad Hatter show. It's a really neat um, extra little event that we do inside oh. the festival. Um, we have archery where you can play, um, actually shoot bow and arrows. We have axe throwing, knife throwing, and star throwing, so you can get competitive. Father's Day weekend, we have a lot of sons and dads that come out and they get competitive <laughs> on, right. the, on the axe throwing because they're trying to win a free drink or a t-shirt or actually just show each other up, I think. <laughs> um, so that's a lot of fun. And then we have the jousting. And we have full live combat jousting three times a day, every day. You mean they actually get on the horses and they actually knock each other off? They actually off? are on the horses. They're knocking oh each other off. Gosh. And they have, you know, ground combat where they're off their horses and right. they're fighting. And you're cheering, kind of like medieval times. You're yes. cheering your night on. So that goes on every day, three times a day. So, it, and where else can you go and you find can. jousting? I mean, it's yeah. just, it's, it's kind of a unique experience and right. nothing else like it in our state. I think this is awesome. Me too. I really do. <laughs> but the best thing is all the things that you can do, you, you can't do this in just a few minutes. You're going to have to be there all day. For sure. And we have people that come for the whole weekend because we do have so many staged areas and entertainment. 
and it's all ages, whether it's something for the kids. If you want to come and do all day kid entertainment, come back the next day and have adult, you know, go to some of the shows um, that are more geared for the adults. Um, we have an untrained dog show and, you know, the jesters, the, um, they do, they're so fun and the kids and adults love them. We have a mud show. It's a husband and wife and they do a comedic mud show. <laughs> and I will tell you, do not sit in the first couple rows if you come because you will be splashed with mud. Oh but it's goodness. fun. Yeah. Um, and then we, I'm trying to think of everything. We have a new show this year. It's a Viking show. Um, you know, the new, the series that's been out on history, the Vikings. Oh, yes. So this group is actually reenacting kind of like you would see in that show and they um, interact with some of the other entertainers like the joust or they interact with the king and um, they do live you know still combat fighting like the Vikings would do it's absolutely neat um, we do have a lot of food we have the big turkey legs oh steak yeah. on a steak and um, we have haggis which some people won't try but we also you know carry hamburgers and chicken tenders and right. corn dogs we probably have the best funnel cakes and there's a lady that's from henry county um and she does funnel cakes everywhere uh, kmrt and her name is karen and she does probably the best funnel cakes i've ever in my life had they're real thick oh. and she does mini funnel cakes for the ladies who don't want those great big they funnel cakes you want little it. mini yeah. yeah get this little mini just cute funnel cakes. She does funnel fries, and um, there's just not a lot of places you can go. And those turkey legs, we have turkey legs that are huge, and you know, you feel really like you're at the medieval times. And <laughs> you can do waxed hands. We have a vendor you can dip your hands in the wax and get your own hand, and he'll cast them. Um, there's people that sell roses, so if you want to buy your loved one a rose or it's just there's a lot to take in and um, the vendors we probably have about 65 to 70 different vendors to look at whether it's leather goods we have two blacksmith that do blacksmithing work like i said it's an experience now how much is it for you to get into the renaissance we sell adult day passes at the at the gate for 18 dollars, but we have discount tickets that are available online they're 12 dollars on our website you can't have that much fun for 12 dollars anyway well you can't and that's all the entertainments include right. um, included in the price we also um offer weekend passes and we offer um season passes which i was telling you you'd be surprised we have people that come every single day and i love it or i love families that come one time and you see them come back in a couple of weeks and they're dressed up because they've gone through and bought all the clothes right. so they and I love that's one of my favorite things or the kids that almost compare it to like going to Disneyland we oh, do have the princess yeah. group of Louisville that comes in and they do you know they don't necessarily um, come in as Elsa but they'll be the snow queen and it's it's something that those younger kids just really relate to right. um, we do themed weekends so this weekend coming up is called steampunk which was kind of before the industrial era you know the goggles you remember the wild wild west show yes it's a lot I like that. that so we'll have a costume contest both days and we have a lot of people that come dressed in that really neat steampunk attire fathers also get half off this weekend if oh, you come to the wow. gate and you come with somebody that's got paid for a ticket they will get half off their admission this weekend at the gate oh that's wonderful i think most dads would enjoy this well it, it's really something neat it's an experience and yeah. it's you can come out throw axes with well, your history. dad watch history it's this very is, educational yes. um we have homeschool groups that come out and they use that as part of their lesson because there are parts and that of the festival that are very historical and you can get some really good information um, and then like I said some of its fantasy and fun because you want it to be you want it to be somewhat realistic and, and understandable you want to under you don't want you want to relate I guess that's right. what I'm trying to say um, and not feel like I have no idea what they're doing or what this means and so I think having that having some having fun with it and we're our cast is very interactive so you may come in and our king may talk to you or you know anybody from our cast they try to interact with our patrons that come in and make you feel like you have stepped into another world you know it's well, kind of escaping daily life yes, yeah and you have you have entered another world yes is, definitely and I just think the history part of this is so unique because you can't learn this in a book. Right. There's something about being there and seeing it and being able to touch it. 
right. that sticks with the kids or adults when you're learning history. Absolutely. We have a so. maypole dance where you actually take the ribbons and you try to tie them around the pole. So we do that once a day. Um, we have Celtic music. We have lots of live music and entertainment. Um, there's just so much. It, it makes me excited because it's <laughs> magical. It um, is. And like I said, there's nothing, there's nothing else like it. You're not going to go um, really to any other festival and experience what you are when you come to the Renaissance Fair. And these are all over the United States. There yes. are some of them that are 30 years old. Right. Um, and we hope to, you know, to hit that 30 what, year mark. You're on your way. You got 13 years. We now. do have 13 so years. Great. We do. And, you know, and we take a lot of pride in it. a lot of people. They think, oh gosh, you know, this is some big company. It's, it's not. We're family run. Um, my mom, my dad, myself, we all three run this and we are um it takes us all year to get ready for the next <clears throat> sorry to get ready for the next festival right um and we do other festivals throughout the year so well that was one of the things we talked about earlier was the different festivals that you do and they they have a they, this is their brochure i this most brochures aren't this big <laughs> <laughs> they're not they do so much stuff it's kind of neat they have other festivals that they do, and these are what? What are these other This festivals? is our Celtic Festival and Highland Games. So you have yeah. bagpipes and, and right. um, a lot of the old Highland Games where you throw the, right. you know, the, the telephone poles is what I call them. It's oh, the caber tossing. Yes. So we have the heavy they athletics. The they do. Um, and that actually, we do that once during the Renaissance Fair. Um, oh, so there'll nice. be a weekend that they'll come out and do that. Um, yes. And all of that is in. These are our programs. When you right. come through the gate, we usually give you one of these. You should grab one. It has a schedule, a map. Right. Talks about all the different um, entertainment groups and right. of course our list our there's vendors. The I don't know if you can see all that, but there's a lot on there. There's a lot going there and then we have you know, we have different themes to our weekend, but it's all so, the Renaissance Fair. It's not yeah. but did the themes we know, like I said, this is steampunk weekend. We'll have a Viking weekend. We have a Fools, Heroes and Villains weekend. So <gasps> you know, the the um the superheroes and right. it kind of gives you that chance because we do get a lot of that. Right. Um, we'll have a Celtic weekend, which is our final weekend, which we do. Um, we have a really neat band that's going to be in <laughs> playing some wonderful, awesome Celtic music. Right. Um, and then we have a tournament weekend also, which is generally the 4th of July weekend, which will be June 30th and July the 1st. And we have an archery tournament. It's open to the public. People just have to, um, they get in to get registered. It starts at 11, so we open our gates at 10. They have to have a traditional bow, so no compound bows, so the traditional bows, and we have rules and regulations if right. anyone's interested, but that's just a neat thing. We have a lot of people that come out and I do that. Do. We really do. Um, archery is a neat thing. It people is. seem to be really interested. Now, in you it. have another brochure that I we do. have that we... We show them. We have, this is the actual, these are what we hand out to people, you know, a little bit smaller than that. This is give what we give out at the gate, but these I are what we try to, I like um, this one. we try to put these out starting the first of the year, because when you open it up, it lists out all the themes of right. each weekend, and on the back, there is a $2 off coupon. So, we've got these in rest centers. We have them available in our office. Um, and we're going to have all of this here at Kentucky and News. Absolutely. In absolutely. the studio. So, make sure, you know, if you, if you want one of these, give us a call or contact us through Facebook. We'll try to make sure you get one. If, I have to, if I'm having to run out, we'll leave it in the mailbox, and only you will know it's there. So, <laughs> But otherwise, you can come by and get one. So I think It's really neat. exciting. I think it's, um, it's just something that's taken time to get people out and used to. It's something that's different, um, but it's an experience, and it, like I said, it's something you won't experience anywhere else. I don't think so. No. I, I'm really glad you came to be with us today. This is... We've been we've been trying to cover this for the longest time, and it never seems to work out. But this year, we finally got it we have, together. So. We have. So I, I think it's really neat. It's neat for Henry County. Um, Henry County is such. I told you, I have such a place in my heart. I love being there, and I love the community. And um, they have they have embraced us. And it you know we all kind of work together and help each other. And and that's what it takes. Absolutely, we hire a lot of students. We have a lot of younger um, children that come out. Not children, they're teenagers that work for us, selling tickets, selling food, grounds, and trash pickup. But it's right. a neat way to keep the community involved, also. Right. But that also teaches them work ethic, and it teaches them. Oh, how absolutely, to give back. absolutely. You know, and that's so. you know, and that's something that I love to do. I love for people, you know, for 
our next generation to understand a little bit more responsibility yes. and, um, and appreciate what they do have. by going to the Renaissance Fair they obviously understand there were no phones back that's then. That's right. And no bathrooms, no running water. That's so right. It hopefully gives them a little more appreciation for what they do have. We do talk we talk about that too, how how much different it was. And you know, think about how how fortunate we all are or how <laughs> you know, I don't know, sometimes well, it's a bit fortunate or not, but you know, the things have changed and right. it's really neat to see how things used to be and um Appreciate what you have. Absolutely. Oh, I think so. This is this is just amazing. I'm so glad you came to be with us today. Is there anything else we need to tell them that we haven't covered? Maybe I, I think we've covered. Uh, I think we've covered a lot <laughs> because I like to talk. Um, I just you know I just want people to um, to come out and enjoy it. We're open ten to seven, rain or shine. We are still. I mean, we're going if it's raining. Um, our, we have nine different areas of entertainment, so you're gonna you have an opportunity to catch. And watch a show all day long and maybe even come back a second day if there's right. things you didn't catch. Um, we have food and drink and merriment. So, I mean, it's just it's a lot to do. So what is the address where they're supposed to come? We're at 955 Elm Street in Eminence. We, it's Highway, um, I guess that would be 22 that's coming through there. Um, you would turn at the Dairy Queen when you get into Eminence. We are just minutes away from the Dairy Queen. That's kind of a, um, a good spot because yeah. that's right in the center of town it so, is yeah um you turn at the dairy queen we're right out past the dollar general store in southern states um you do not see anything from the road so don't you know turn around keep on coming down that gravel <laughs> road there are signs that say come on back and right. um, free parking so there's no charge for parking um and then come on in and enjoy it's just an, it's, it's an experience oh wow well as you can tell this must be a unique a really fun event and we're going to go and try to take some pictures for you one weekend and let you see some more things. But she is just an amazing lady. So, well, you know, you if you have so any you. questions, go to the Facebook page and ask them whatever you need to know. And the name of the Facebook page is? Is KY Ren Fair. Um, you can find us, I think it's actually under Kentucky Renaissance Fair. Fair. Yeah. Um, we have an Instagram page, KY Ren Fair. And we do try to get back to you. So give us a call, you know. Yeah. Send us a message. We definitely will get back to you. And believe me, she'll be glad to answer any I sure questions. will. <laughs> <laughs> so, as always, we thank you for watching. <laughs>